Every four years on January 20th, the world watches as the United States undergoes a transition of power from one president to the next. This transition, known as an inauguration, is going to happen tomorrow, and this transition cannot be more different from normal. That's what we're going to be looking into today, what an inauguration is, and what's so notable that about this year's transition. Before we get into all of that, however, I'd appreciate it when like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell to stay tuned for future content. Okay, so before we get into what's different this year, we need to know what usually happens during an inauguration. As stated before, it happens on January 20th every four years, or in other words, when a presidential term ends and another begins. Sometimes, the president gets re-elected, and the actual swearing in goes largely unnoticed. However, despite what some people might say, Trump did not win re-election, and because of this, we will have an actual transition of power. Usually, the incoming president is invited to the White House to have tea with the outgoing president, or something like that, and then the actual swearing-in happens. A few minutes before noon, the vice president takes the oath of office, and then the president takes the oath at exactly noon. This is all in Eastern time, of course, so people in Alaska and Hawaii will basically wake up to a new president. Anyway, usually there are gigantic celebrations and thousands of people gathering to watch the inauguration. Uh, which is light laden with a ton of tra traditions that I can't get into in this video. But as we all know, things are far from normal. COVID would have already caused the inauguration to have a limited gathering and with almost no celebrations. Things got even more bleak, however, when DC basically erupted into chaos a couple weeks ago. Trump supporters storming the freaking Capitol building, threats against members of Congress and the incoming president, and a lot more. If you want, I can make a video diving into the whole situation. Anyway, because of the security threat, almost all of the traditions have been scrapped, and in their place is a toned down swearing in. Chances are it's going to be on live TV all over the world, so people will still watch it, so they'll just look less impressive than it normally would. Even worse, Trump isn't inviting Biden to the White House like he normally would. Instead, he's leaving the White House to hunger down in Florida before the inauguration, which I don't know what to say about that. This was somewhat expected due to his constant denial of the election results, but still no less infuriating. This makes Trump the first president since Andrew Johnson, who, fun fact, also got impeached, to skip this particular tradition. On the bright side, the lack of festivities means that Biden can get straight to work as the next president. We've already discovered that he plans to issue a flurry of executive orders in his first few days in office, including, but not limited to, rejoining the Paris Climate Accord, lifting a Muslim travel ban, and introducing $1,400 stimulus checks. It will take some time to calm the country down and recover from the crisis that we're in, but it seems like starting tomorrow, we'll be in at least better hands when it comes to the handling of that stuff. And that wraps up this video on Inauguration Day. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, I'd appreciate it like your video, subscribe to your channel, and hit the notification bell to do to your content. Thanks and have a great day.